If you do any kind of writing online, you've probably heard of Grammarly. With over 10 million daily active users, it's the most popular spelling and grammar checker on the internet. In this video, I will not only review the Grammarly tool, but also give you the access to its premium version for free. So, if you want to use it, make sure you watch this video till the end, and don't skip it. What does Grammarly actually do? Grammarly analyzes a piece of text you've written and checks for any errors. The free version covers the basics grammar, punctuation, and spelling, while the premium version takes it a step further, offering stylistic and best writing practice suggestions. It can be the difference between writing something clear and compelling versus writing something sloppy and unprofessional. Features Grammar and Punctuation It detects basic and advanced grammar and punctuation errors like alliteration, comma splices, run-on sentences, fragments, and much more. If you're not sure why a mistake is a mistake, no problem. Grammarly will tell you. It gives you a quick and easy to understand lesson. Spell check. It checks every word in your writing for spelling errors. More comprehensive and robust than your average Microsoft Word spell checker, Grammarly's spell check has first-class accuracy, perhaps the best available. Plagiarism. It can scan your entire document for any cases of plagiarism, intentional or unintentional. Not every case of plagiarism was done on purpose. Writing style. It provides that near-human touch by offering tips, suggestions, and advice on your writing style. Perhaps the most underappreciated Grammarly feature. It gives you help with sentence length, overall readability, and other actionable insights on improving your writing. If you want to become a better writer, this is exactly what you need. No matter what kind of writing you do, you might be doing professional writing, casual writing, hobby writing, Grammarly can help you spruce up your emails, social media posts, blogs, and formal papers. But do you need a grammar checker? Your message is most important in every type of writing, from blogs to a tweet. If your message isn't clear, your readers will find it tough to understand the point you're trying to make. Your writing represents you. Your writing gives the reader a taste of who you are. Using a grammar checker not only adds to the quality of your writing, but it also takes very little time, aids you and improves your writing, and will ensure you reach your audience with the right style and tone. Our next and most important section is how Grammarly compares to a human editor. This is the part of my Grammarly review I was most excited to tell you about. Although Grammarly is effective at catching certain mistakes, it is not a human editor. As an editor, it's clear to me that machines still have a long way to go before they can match humans. For a start, some mistakes will slip through on Grammarly, even mistakes that seem quite basic. Some mistakes are simply harder for machines to spot. When it comes to more advanced issues like paragraph length, the tone of voice and the meaning of phrases and sentences, a human is absolutely necessary. But Grammarly is constantly improving their algorithm to make it more human-like. Human eyes will always be superior to the rigidity of automatic tools. As a result, while Grammarly is a very useful tool for casual writing, it is not suitable for more formal writing. If you are writing a dissertation, an important business document or a manuscript, professional editing is important. In the end, Grammarly and human editors are not in direct competition. You don't need to make a choice between them. They have different uses for different types of writing. Is Grammarly worth it? It's not perfect and will never replace a professional human editor. However, it does a good job for what it's designed to do. So should you use it? I think Grammarly can be a great tool for almost any writer. The free version is useful for anyone who writes shorter pieces of writing, from bloggers to students to anyone who regularly composes emails. As for the premium version, it is particularly useful for anyone producing more professional, longer-form content. However, if your document is intended for publication or will be read by important stakeholders, I wouldn't put all my eggs in the Grammarly basket. Just imagine if you had a friend who would tell you all your mistakes while writing. It will improve your writing skills and improve your business value and conversion. I like it and I use it myself when I write my blogs using the Grammarly tool. 
it's a good decision to invest in such a tool. I will also give you the access of the premium tool for free. So, watch till the end. So try the Grammarly Premium Plan, and then decide whether you should invest your money in this tool or not. Follow all the steps to use the Grammarly Premium Plan.